Um, you know, what's the difference between a hedge fund and a managed account and what's involved with launching a hedge fund? Uh, well, actually, the main difference is hedge funds are serving high net worth individuals. So uh, the minimum required is very high. And in the US, uh, you have to be an accredited investor to invest in a hedge fund. If you are a retail investor, you can't invest in a hedge fund even if you have five million, even if you have a that minimal. You have to go to financial authorities and to become a accredited investor. Then you can join a hedge fund. So uh, managed accounts is a bit different because uh, you can start managed accounts with 50k, for example. So it's more like for retailers. And uh, there are differences in strategies because as it comes from the name hedge fund, uh, their strategies are so-called hedged strategy which means they are trying to find the strongest stocks to go long and the weakest to go short while if you are just a cta for example or other kind of or cpo for example or other kinds of managed accounts providers you are more free in uh, um, picking up different kinds of strategies right so it's more freedom but at the same time uh, the investors are different because accredited investor is more easy to work with. Uh, he knows everything about risk reward. So he's investing in hedge funds, uh, venture funds and so on many years. So he understands all the stuff. So it's not like a retailer who comes and uh, wants to see how some significant gain. So it's a more, um, let me say, more realistic investor or investor that has more realistic expectations. And to, to start, you certainly need at least one investor. You can't start without investors. Well, so they always have, everybody always wants to make the moon. We just started working with the Sovereign Wealth Fund, and they're like, yeah, we'd be happy with 10% a month. I was like, well, but they also understand the risk that comes with it. 